Welcome to Moffis Suite Login Access Control. Moffis Suite is a company's private cloud business space, so naturally, we provide optional additional security measures for access to this confidential data. In this video, we'll go over login access limitations available for Moffis Suite and how users and admins can utilize these features. Today, we'll go over the definitions and concept theories you'll need to be familiar with. Then, we'll go over the user and admin roles that need to be fulfilled to use this function. First, we'll talk about the nature of login imitations to give you an idea of which limits you may wish to implement. Users typically enter their Moffis Suite by accessing a URL on their web browser. After creating an account and getting added to their company's organization chart, users can log in with their selected username and password. But if you think that's a little too easy, we have a few more conditions you can apply. IP address. Want only people on site or people on specific networks to access Moffa Suite? Set internet protocol address or IP address restrictions in place so only registered workers utilizing the internet at your company headquarters or branches can log into Moffa Suite. Anyone accessing through a different internet IP address will be blocked. USB number. Does your company require carrying an ID or a device such as a card key to enter company doors? Then in that same vein, maybe your business might be interested in restricting access to your Moffa Suite to register USB specification numbers only. This way, only staff with an approved USB drives inserted to their computer can log into your system. MAC address. Perhaps each employee at your business is given their own personal desktop or laptop computer for use. If so, utilizing login imitations by each PC's unique Media Access Control address, or MAC address, might be helpful. With these limits, those logging in from registered MAC addresses may exclusively enter your business's Moffa Suite. Admins may also choose to allow or reject all logins from mobile devices, such as phones or tablets. If access through mobile devices is selected to be allowed, managers may then subsequently decide the number of devices available for login per user. Admins who wish to have a free mobile login policy can also simply allow unlimited logon from all devices. Now, let's take a quick look at what administrators will be setting up as the login requirements for access to a Moffa Suite space. Limitations are broadly placed on a main requirement and substitute requirement system. Admins can choose to make one, none, all, or any combination of IP address, USB number, and MAC address as main requirements. A main requirement is essential unless an exceptional access substitute requirement is entered and the user fulfills that condition. Let's highlight this concept with a few examples. 1. IP address is a main requirement and USB number is selected as a substitute requirement for exceptional access. If the user is accessing from any of the IP addresses as registered by the admin, that user may log in. If the user is not accessing from any of the IP addresses, but has connected to a registered USB drive to their PC, the user may log in. If the user cannot fulfill either the IP address or USB number conditions, access will be denied. 2. IP address and USB numbers are selected as main requirements, and MAC address is selected as the exceptional access for the USB number requirement. If the user utilizes a registered IP address and USB number, they may log into the Moffa Suite space. If the user utilizes a registered IP address and a MAC address, they may log into the Moffa Suite space. Anyone who attempts to access the system with any other combination of conditions will be denied. We also included a handy chart in the description below as a reference guide for administrators. Now let's move on to the respective roles the user and the administrator will have during setup. Normal users are not that involved with the access limitation process. However, among the three main numbers that can be used as access limitations, two of them, USB number and MAC address, must be set up by users. Let's go over this together. First, log into your Moffa Suite account. From here, access the settings menu. Next, you'll want to install a plugin that will help import these numbers. Scroll to the bottom of the page and click the download button next to the plugin icon. If this is not visible, that means the plugin has already been downloaded. It looks a little like this. Afterwards, you're ready to import your access limitation numbers into Moffa Suite. The first option, USB number, can be added to your account by pressing the Import USB Hardware Number button. 
Then, in the pop-up, select the USB drive currently connected to your computer that will you will be using for login access. Then, the request will be sent to the admin for approval after clicking the Save button. The second option, MAC address, can also be retrieved in the same manner. Click the Import PC MAC address button and instantly fetch the unique serial. Click the Save button to finalize the request to the administrator. Lastly, users can also handle their own mobile access limitations through their personal settings as well. In the Settings menu, go up to the top and click the Mobile Access tab. Within this tab menu, users can allow or reject logins from mobile and likewise choose which devices are connected to their groupware, collaboration, cloud disk, and messenger mobile apps. As an administrator, you can access these login access options through the security menu. For those who will be utilizing login access limitations, there will be two parts to completely set up the system. First, set up the conditions of login access for your company's employees. There are a few main patterns you can utilize that we illustrate in the reference below. Here, we require that users need a registered IP address, USB number, or MAC address, so at least one of the three options available. To do this, we add IP address as the main condition and check USB number and MAC address as exceptional access substitute conditions. This way, any of these conditions may be used to log in. However, fulfilling none of these conditions will block the user from accessing Office Suite. Now, let's add managers to the exempt users list. Simply select a user from your company's organization chart and then choose the condition they'll be exempt from needing. These can be one specific conditions or all conditions listed. Remember to save. All users with exemptions are displayed in the list below so you can confirm, edit, or delete the data. Now let's move on to the next step. Add IP addresses by entering the IP address and the plus button. Any registered IP addresses added to the list below can likewise be deleted by the trash can icon next to it. To use a subnet mask, utilize the formula in the help text above. There are two IP address registering submenus. One is for IP addresses available for Postmaster admin account usage, and the other is for the IPs available for normal user login use. Next, we'll check out the USB number and MAC address authentication submenus. Ideally, users will have already sent requests for their USB serials or MAC addresses, so all the admin has to do is approve these requests. Attempting to do everything else manually will likely take more time. To add a USB or MAC address, Simply select the user from the organization chart and the USB number or MAC address that they requested will automatically be pulled from the system. Now we can talk about mobile authentication. Choose to allow or reject access to Office Suite by mobile devices. If you choose to allow mobile access, then managers can check the box below to limit the number of mobile devices that can connect from one user if desired. Enter any number and save. Admins can further check the currently registered devices by users and their related details. That's it! Thank you for watching this Moffis Guide video. Please subscribe to our channel for more content and like our video if it helped you. Until next time, have an outstanding day!